Welcome back. Fed up with paralysis and insecurity at home and fearful of diplomatic fallout abroad, a group of ex-generals here is pushing its own initiative to prepare the ground for the day when Israelis and Palestinians may be ready to negotiate a peace deal. The Six-Day War of 1967 ended with a stunning Israeli victory. But 50 years later, many of those who served as conscripts or young officers in that war have come to view the domestically divisive and internationally charged issue of the West Bank and East Jerusalem as a chronic reminder of how strategic defeat has been snatched from the jaws of victory. The Commanders for Israel's Security was created in October 2014 to address this pressing question of government policy in the West Bank. The organization, formed by retired security professionals with long and illustrious careers defending the state of Israel, is strictly non-party affiliated, but with a very political goal, separation from the Palestinians through the two-state solution. On the Palestinian issue, we must endorse security first, developed by the Commanders for Israel's Security, led by retired Major General Amnon Reshef, one of the heroes of the Yom Kippur War. There are over 200 of Israel's security leaders from the IDF, Shin Bet, and Mossad. Commanders for Israel's Security catapulted itself into the heart of Israeli public discourse in January 2017 by launching a provocative public campaign warning against a one-state solution that would spell the end of a Jewish state. Former Mossad director and Commanders for Israel's Security Act activist Danny Atom described the shock tactics employed by the group. The best way to insert into the hearts of the Israelis is by using an emotional approach and not a logical approach. So this is an emotional approach. It looked at the beginning as if the Palestinians put the billboards all over the state of Israel and it is written in Arabic that uh, very soon we, the Palestinians, will be the majority. The Commanders for Israel's Security, chaired by retired Major General Amnon Reshef, promoting the two-state solution through the message of separation and security. Retired Major General Amnon Reshef is chairman of Commanders for Israel's Security. He's an Israeli hero who led the 14th Armored Brigade in one of the bloodiest battles of the 73 war, when, outnumbered by nearly five to one, he and his men stubbornly fought under Arik Sharon to turn the tide of the Sinai campaign. Roli Giron is also the equivalent of a retired major general, a former division chief of Israel's Mossad. He's a member of the CIS Executive Steering Committee. And they join us here in the studio. Gentlemen, thanks for showing up at Strictly Security. It's, thanks for having us. Thank you. <laughs> so, Amnon, it seems that you are as stubborn in promoting this campaign as you were in the, at the Chinese farm. Uh, outnumbered, public opinion is running against you. Nevertheless, um, uh, you are focusing on separation, not annexation, which implies that there is no hope at this point for a deal for the foreseeable future. Uh, in our basic original vision, we think that there is only one real solution in our region, and it is the two-state solution. As things are not right right now, we came with an intermediate plan called Security First, which covers various areas, which is security measures, civil economic measures, and political statement. And it's a very comprehensive plan. Right now, in our recent campaign, we have focusing on the issue of separation as a part of our vision. Now, before we get to details of your plan, it was interesting that you were attacked by uh, the left for this campaign of yours with the Arabic signs uh, for uh, some racist or um, uh, undertones. In the very beginning, we were attacked by some leftists who didn't get appropriate the, appro the message appropriately mm -hmm. but but mind you we got some several telephone calls from Israeli Arabs and some other who say it's brilliant because for over 20 years we approached the Israeli public in a very logical intellectual way 
And we gave, came to the conclusion that it doesn't approach the public. We, therefore, we came Fear mongering with, works in Israel. Yeah. And, uh, but we came with a kind of emotional approach mm -hmm. in, or, in order to shake the Israeli people and let them better get a better understanding about the situation and, and what might be in the future. Hmm. Now, Roly, you make uh, clear that this is not a peace plan, this is a rescue plan. So can you tell us about this holistic approach that you're advocating uh, that emphasizes Israeli security first? Yeah, I will try to explain. And uh, I will, with your permission, slightly deviate from the original question, okay? okay. <laughs> if you don't mind, okay. Uh, I did label this plan as a security plan. It is not another peace plan. It is no uh, a salvation plan for the Middle East or the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Definitely not. Uh, we came out with this plan uh, following what I call a very constructive dialogue with reality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we figured out that what we have to do is to adapt an approach which means the art of the possible. The art of the possible under rapidly changing circumstances as reality. And we reached the, uh, the conclusion that one, uh, a two-state solution uh, is not on the doorstep. Mm -hmm. We can hardly see it in the horizon. Okay? So what needs to be done? What, what has to be done? Mm -hmm. And we reached another conclusion that we may be rapidly moving towards a one-state solution, right. which for Israel is a disaster absolutely a disaster and it's a catastrophe for the Zionist vision. The Zionist so, vision is a Jewish and democratic state. So what needs to be done? C complete the fence. Um. What has to be done? First, we have to stop the, the current uh, developments. We have to stop them. We have to cut ourselves off the Palestinians uh, to try and to reach as much as possible a separation with the Palestinians. And then with time, we may reach uh, better times than uh, somebody can uh, offer a better solution. We ask the government, the Israeli government, to declare that it, it doesn't have any kind of territorial claims east to the security fence, which is 90 odd percent of the West Bank. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that the rest of it is not negotiable, but at least we have a very uh, clear line which cover all, most of the West Bank. And, and it, it, it's a kind of deposit for future negotiation. Mm -hmm. And those 100,000 Jews east of the security fence? We don't, we don't, in our intermediate plan, we don't deal with this with the settlers, no, with the settlement is to the fence. It's a part of the future negotiation. You and the 200 plus uh, seasoned uh, generals and warriors on behalf of the security of the state, you could be enjoying retirement by now, gardening or doing whatever, but you're committed to fighting this fight. And is it out of hope uh, or is it out of fear or a little bit of both? Let me tell you something, Barbara. Yes. If you talk about gardening, for instance, okay? Yes. We are doing gardening because we are fertilizing the ground for a better future. Okay, so what we do on a daily basis, we fertilize the ground for a mm -hmm. better future. So it's a long procedure. This is true. However, we hope it will succeed. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is gardening. <laughs> That's wonderful. And Amnon, uh, uh, you were in Washington recently briefing policymakers. Uh, what's the response, and why should Israel care, uh, Israelis care what they think in Washington? Uh, the, re the response was, was very positive. Uh, no question that uh, our main uh, target audience is the Israeli public, but still we need some support outside as well. We wish you a lot of success in this well, campaign. Thank you. <laughs> and we would like to hear um, updates as Th things progress. Thank you very much. And thank you for, so much for joining us. Thank you. Roly Giron and Amnon Reshev.